A while ago, there was this older man who just didn't like his neighbor. So he started making up false rumors that his neighbor was a thief. Over time, people started to believe the older man and nobody wanted anything to do with the neighbor. The neighbor started losing friends and eventually even his business started failing. So he decided to sue the old man for making up lies about him. In court, the old man told the judge, they were just words, they didn't actually hurt anyone. The judge, before making his decision, told the old man, write all of the things you said about your neighbor on a piece of paper. Tear the paper into little pieces and on the way home, throw those pieces of paper out the window. Tomorrow, come back to hear my decision. The next day, the judge told the old man, I've decided in your favor, but you have to do one thing first. I want you to go up and gather up all those pieces of paper you threw out the window. The old man responded, are you kidding? I can't do that. The wind spread them all over the place. I wouldn't even know where to find them. The judge replied, when we say hurtful things about someone, it works the same way. You'll never be able to get those words back. And he ruled against the old man. What I love about this story is it reminds us that when we speak negatively about someone, it may just feel like words and comments. We may feel as if those words are harmless and no one will ever find out. But in reality, they can tear someone to pieces, causing someone so much pain and suffering that those pieces can never be put back together. We can also never take those words back, just like those pieces of paper blowing in the wind. If we can't speak well of someone, then the best thing to do is to not say anything at all. Because if we can't be masters of our mouth, then we can end up as slaves to our words. And most importantly, remember, when your feet slip, you can always recover your balance. But when your tongue slips, you can never recover your words.